Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome to my channel. This is a very different video because A Plus Apparel isn't doing any more new launches until the new year. I figured, you know what? I don't have a whole heck of a lot to do. So everybody's been asking me for a makeup tutorial. So here it is. This is the look that I'm gonna show you how I do today. Um, yeah, I, I have nothing else to say about it. So let's get to it. So today I'm going to be using the Huda, Huda Beauty Nude Palette, and this puppy is beautiful. Oh. I'm going to use, to start with, the Morphe E17 brush. Morphe brushes are amazing, and they are super cheap. Highly recommend it. Going into the color Tickle, and then tapping it off. And then we just pat it into the crease on the outer portion and then about a third into the eye. Just getting that color on. And I always do both sides at the same time because I can't do like one eye and then make it look like the other one. That just that just does not happen. So here's what it looks like and then I take the brush and then on a piece of paper towel I, I had to think about what that was on a piece of paper towel I just like rub off all the excess like you don't need to clean your brush it's just rubbing off that excess and then blending that out just circular motions blending it up it doesn't need to look perfect right now it's just about getting those harsh lines out as we go. Once you feel like the color is like stuck there, then you're gonna go into the color raw, which is right here, raw, mm -hmm. raw, raw. Tap it, and then you're just putting that on the outside and up again, something like that. Do that on the other eye. something like that. Take off the excess on your paper towel and blend it in through the crease. This one you don't want to go too far up. It's just blending it into the crease. And see how that color is now going in? So this is the eye I haven't done yet with the blending. This color is going in and you can like really see it starting to transition. You just want to stay in that crease. And it gets to be a pretty color. And now, again, take the excess off. And now you're going to be bringing that brush up. I'm using the same brush for every single... I mean, a lot of people don't. I do. I'm not super picky when it comes to my makeup. It's just about blending out these harsh lines now and making that gradient kind of transition. So see what the finished look looks like? I don't know. So now again, windshield wiper motions to get that color right in the crease, that dark color. Staying as far as low down as possible to start. Taking the excess off and then blending it up. And I go right up to about the eyebrow. It doesn't go all the way up to the eyebrow. It just transitions really nicely when you really just make that all look kind of seamless in a sense. This is like a super easy eye look, you guys. This is like my go-to all the time. Between like hair and makeup, it typically takes me about an hour. If I did it really fast, a half an hour. Like I could do my hair and makeup in a half an hour. My hair would have to be like partially dry for the half an hour, but, and it would have to be straight, <laughs> just straighten it. 
All right, so there's that. Next, what I like to do is go into a darker shade, like a brown with kind of a red undertone. So this Morphe M350 palette is incredible because it's got all of these stunning neutral colors and it's got like those red kind of undertones. And so what I do is go into one of the darker ones, which is like all along here. Um, I think this one is going to be Cafe. I don't know. I think this whole thing has been, but it's this bottom one that's really dark. It's one, the bottom, and then two in. Tap it off. Always tap it. Tap it, tap it, tap it. And then just on the outer corner, you just want to pack that in there. Make it nice and dark. This is how you get that smoky eye. Nice and dark. So there it is. Again, taking that brush on your paper towel, kind of cleaning it, bringing it into the crease, into the crease. And you don't need to worry about like all of this fallout and stuff. I'm going to show you how to clean that up. Don't worry. And then cleaning that brush just one more time. You're going to windshield wiper it just to really transition it. Clean it, windshield wiper. Just play around with it until you're comfortable, you know? realize that this is going to look like a hot mess until you have your eyeliner, your mascara, and your lashes on. It's just, it's the way it is. I used to think that I was like, my eyes were like black and blue <laughs> um, until I learned about lashes and eyeliner. And then I'm like, oh, I, I don't have two fists in my eyes. <laughs> All right, so the color I like to go with on my eyes is this pretty gold color in the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette, which is this color right here. I don't know what it's called. So you take it, I always use my finger, and I dab it. If you don't want to get both the Morphe M350 palette and the Jaclyn Hill palette, you can just get the Jaclyn Hill palette and then you can use either this color or this color for that deepening and darkening. Um, I just have a lot of Morphe palettes because they're super inexpensive. I think they're $30 each Canadian. So that helps. And I just put it on my eye. Again, doesn't really need to be perfect. You just dab it on. I just really like this rose gold with the contrast of the purples and pinks and I think it just looks so pretty. And then you just wipe your finger off. And then if you want, you can take like, if you want, you can just take a brush and just like blend out that line if you'd like. Or you can use your pinky, my nails are way too long for that. So you just blend that out and then you take the same brush and then you just go into like a lighter shimmery shade. Doesn't really matter which one and you just go into that tear duct area. 
just like so. And then on the bottom, you are gonna duplicate what you did up here with the MAC 230 brush. I've had this brush for forever. One of these does not come in the package, but this is what it looks like. It's not clean, don't judge me. Yeah, this is what it looks like. Still not really clean, that's okay. So, you go into, again, tickle, underneath your eye, and then into raw. And I always, like my rule of thumb is to go right to underneath your bottom lash. So like, you know how your lashes come down? You, you want that color just to go like the tiniest bit past the end of the lash, if that makes sense. That's what I personally do. That's like my way of doing it. Everybody has their own way. I'm not a professional. This is just how I do makeup. All myself. Beautiful. And then you go into whatever color that dark color was. Um, I'm personally gonna use the Morphe M350 in that super dark color. Again. This one you go, want to go a little bit lighter just because it is dark. Just nice and light on your fingers. Not too heavy. Little by little. Bam. Whoop, whoop. And then what you do is you take a brush like this, the Morphe uh, E18. It's got like a flat top here and then it's round on the top. And you just, uh, when it's clean, go back and forth and really blend that out. So, all right, so I've got my two black eyes with sparkle on them. Great. Now we're gonna clean up our eye area, which is just taking your Tarte Shape Tape, taking all the excess off of it, going in and just putting it under where you wanna clean. And then so you have like a messy part of your beauty blender, go to the clean part of the beauty blender and up to the eyebrow and that's how I make my line. And then down and around. Eyebrow, down and around. Clean, see? Do it with the same side, eyebrow, down and around. It also helps create that lift here that we all know and love. All right, next we're gonna put on eyeliner, which I've actually been using this Essence eyeliner. It is the 24 hour ink liner in intense black. So basically how I put my eyeliner on is I go nice and close to a mirror. I'm gonna try and do this while you guys can still see. Looking down at it, you start on the inner corner, make a thin line right across, little strokes. This is a marathon and not a race. And then you just color that in. And then from the end of the eye, you wanna go out, to the eyebrow. 
I always lift my eyebrows so that it like pulls the skin a little bit further. And I have like semi hooded eyebrow or eyes. They're not completely hooded. So then I take and I bring this in and just draw a straight line. And color it in. Like so. Other eye. They're not perfect, but life can't be perfect, can it? So now that you have that on, you go to your mascara. I'm going to use the Essence uh, Lash Princess. That's just with the mascara. I put my lashes on last, so let's contour the face. Bam! Now we got lashes. The lashes I use are Sugar Baby Lashes by Batty B. I have them already cut and prepped right here. Doop. They do come super long and you have to cut them. Oof. Throw my glue around. Duo glue, the white stuff, goes on white and then it dries clear so you do not see the glue. So I just go along the top with this little brush. You can even put on a second coat if you wish. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So now it's going a little bit blue. I'm going to show you the glue. Oh, come on. There we go. You can kind of see it on there. Here's a lash that's just like going crazy. All you gotta do, if you ever have a lash that is just being gross, just pluck it out. Alright, again, looking down, eyebrows up, lightly place it on, and then use your fingers. I find fingers the easiest to use. like so and then you go to the next one sorry guys my camera died and after like two years of having this camera I still don't have an extra backup so what I did was I plugged in the camera while I did my hair and then um, so basically all I have to do now is just eyeliner lipstick and spray so my eyeliner is just this Sephora black one. Um, just get the cheap one. You don't need, it's a pencil one. This does the trick. Just goes along that bottom lash line there. Just helps your eyes really pop. Ta da! There she is. Completely done. <laughs> I'll zoom in nice and close just for the eyes. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, this is my makeup that I do like all the time. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, if you try it, let me know uh, if it's as easy as what I make it. Practice makes per perfect. And all I can say is blend. Take your time when you're first getting into it and just blend it out and it'll all just always turn out. It will. Um, I'm always like a neutral girl like this. So yeah, let me know what your favorite eyeshadow palette is down below. And I just, I like to know that kind of stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Merry Christmas. Um, I love you. Mwah.